Ever wondered why the timing of political scandals often coincides with election seasons? Let's take a look at a recent event that has caused quite a stir in the political landscape of India. We're talking about the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal, a key opposition leader and the founder of the Aam Admi Party, or AAP for short. This is a man who has had a significant political journey, starting his own party back in 2011 and even serving as Delhi's chief minister. But now, he finds himself under arrest, less than a month before the general elections. The charges? Corruption allegations related to Delhi's liquor policy. The timing, it seems, is impeccable, and the incident has sparked a multitude of questions and concerns. Kejriwal's arrest has led to protests by his supporters and accusations of misuse of government agencies for political gain. A typical pre-election scandal or something more. So, let's delve into the timeline of events that led up to this moment. Our journey begins in 2022 when Delhi's liquor policy under Kejriwal's administration started favoring private retailers. This sudden shift in policy took many by surprise and quickly became a hot topic of debate. It was a move that saw a rise in the prominence of private retailers in the liquor industry, a sector that had previously been dominated by government-controlled outlets. As with any significant policy change, there were those who benefited and those who felt disadvantaged. However, the real controversy began when whispers of corruption started swirling around the corridors of power. The whispers grew louder, turning into allegations that Kedrawal's administration was favoring these private retailers for reasons that were, let's say, less than transparent. It was around this same time that the spotlight fell on two of Kejriwal's deputies. Amid rising tensions, they were detained last year, an event that sent shockwaves through the political landscape. The question on everyone's lips was, was this a sign of more to come? Enter the Enforcement Directorate, India's financial crime agency. Tasked with investigating these allegations of corruption, the agency delved into the intricacies of the liquor policy's implementation. Their involvement added a new layer of seriousness to the situation, hinting at the gravity of the allegations. Fast forward to 2024, Kedriwal finds himself under arrest, a move that has sparked nationwide protests and accusations of political foul play. The circumstances surrounding his arrest have led many to question the motivations behind it, with some suggesting that it is a politically motivated attack. As we delve deeper into this story, it's clear that this is more than just a tale of alleged corruption. It's a complex saga of power, politics, and the quest for justice. With Kedriwal's arrest, the political landscape has been shaken, but what has been the fallout? Let's delve into the aftermath of the arrest. Across the length and breadth of India, an outcry reverberated. Protests erupted, their intensity echoing the shockwaves sent by Kedriwal's arrest. It wasn't just a few isolated voices of dissent. No, these were nationwide demonstrations, a collective roar from the masses raising their voices against what they perceived as an injustice. But the ripple effects didn't stop there. Dozens of AAP members, fellow comrades of Kedriwal, were also detained in New Delhi. These were individuals who took to the streets, who chose to vocalize their protest against the arrest of their leader. Their detention served to add fuel to the already raging fire, stoking the flames of public outrage. The Aam Admi Party and other opposition parties didn't stay silent either. They came forward with accusations, pointed fingers squarely at the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party. They claimed this wasn't just about alleged corruption or a questionable liquor policy. No, they suggested that this was a strategic move, a calculated play of political chess. They accused the BJP of attempting to distract from their own alleged corruption, of using Kedriwal's arrest as a smokescreen to hide their own indiscretions. The opposition didn't stop at just that. They went a step further, alleging misuse of government agencies for political gain. This wasn't just about one man's arrest. It was about an alleged systemic issue, a potential weaponization of government institutions for political warfare. 
It's important to note that these are allegations, claims that are yet to be proven. But they have ignited a debate, a conversation about the state of Indian politics and the balance of power. Kedriwal's arrest has become a symbol of political warfare, with the opposition accusing the ruling party of misusing government agencies for political gain. As we've seen, the arrest of Kedriwal is more than just a case of alleged corruption. It's a political chess game. Let's take a moment to summarize the key points we've discussed. Arvind Kedriwal, a prominent opposition leader, was arrested on corruption allegations related to Delhi's liquor policy, a move that has caused a stir in the political landscape. The timing of his arrest, less than a month before general elections, has raised eyebrows and fueled speculations of political maneuvering. The role of the Enforcement Directorate, India's financial crime agency, has also been brought into question. The agency is investigating allegations that the liquor policy implemented by Kidriwal's administration in 2022 favored private retailers. This investigation and subsequent arrest have given way to a narrative of political motivations, a narrative that has been vehemently supported by Kedriwal himself and his party, the AAP. Nationwide protests have erupted in response to Kedriwal's arrest. Members of the AAP and supporters of Kedriwal have taken to the streets expressing their disapproval and challenging the legitimacy of the arrest. This public outcry has further complicated the situation and has the potential to sway public sentiment as the elections draw closer. The political accusations by both the AAP and other opposition parties of the ruling BJP using government agencies for political gain have added another layer of complexity to this unfolding drama. The BJP, on the other hand, has maintained its stance that the arrest is purely based on corruption allegations and not politically motivated. The implications of Kidriwal's arrest on the upcoming general elections could be significant. With a key opposition figure now detained, the dynamics of the election could shift dramatically. It's a situation that is fluid and full of uncertainties. As the general elections approach, one thing is certain. The arrest of Arvind Kedriwal has set the stage for a heated political battle. Stay tuned as we continue to follow this developing story.